Hi, everybody. I'm sorry I can't be with you today for the meeting, but I thought it might be useful just to update you a little bit on what's been happening and the work we've been doing with NICE over the last couple of months. Um, just get the slides up. As you know, um, Nintendib has been approved for non-IPF pulmonary fibrosis. Um, Non-IPF pulmonary fibrosis includes conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, ILD, um, scleroderma, ILD, chronic hypersensitivity, pneumonitis, you know, things including farmer's lung, bird keeper's disease, asbestosis, the black lung that coal miners used to get, and many other conditions. An estimated 32,500 people in the UK live with IPF, and maybe 15,000 more live with these other types of pulmonary fibrosis. Irrespective of what the cause of your fibrosis is, though the patient journey is similar, we all suffer from increasing breathlessness, um, it's many of us debilitating cough, become dependent on supplementary oxygen, etc. Nintendib has now been approved by NICE, the Scottish Medicines Consortium, who actually were first, <coughs> and recently by Welsh and Northern Ireland agencies. And it should be available for doctors to prescribe by tomorrow, <coughs> the 17th of February, at least in England. But some delays are likely because of the tests <coughs> needed to show that pulmonary fibrosis in the specific case is progressive and the time needed to refer patients um, with other forms of PF to specialist centres, which is especially a problem in England. Um, Nintendib can only be prescribed by doctors in England at specialist centres. Um, <clears throat> so we we're heading in the right direction. Hopefully in three to six months, all eligible non-IPF PF patients will have access to Nintendib. So this has been really quite a success story, beginning to end, really good cooperation between APF, the other charities like the rheumatoid arthritis charities and clinicians to have a unified approach to NICE to get this approved and get it um, available to patients. So a good, a good success story. Um, unfortunately, antifibrotics for excluded IPF patients is not such a good story. Um, currently, as you know, antifibrotics can only be given to patients with a lung function, an FVC, between 50% and 80%. Newly diagnosed patients with a FVC over 80%, <clears throat> um, those patients further on in their journey with an FVC less than 50% cannot be given antifibrotics. <clears throat> the current NICE rules. We consider this to be grossly unfair, and we've been campaigning <clears throat> KPF for over five years to get this changed. In May 2021, NICE announced it would carry out a technological appraisal, a TA, to decide whether it would make antifibrotics available to all IPF patients. In other words, get rid of the 80-50 rule. But despite this being announced nine months ago, no date, start date has yet been announced. We've written to NICE, we've asked MPs to write, we've run a social media campaign, we've involved clinicians, patients have written letters, but so far to no avail. No result from NICE. We understand, though, from discussions behind the scenes that preparations are being made for a TA and that it might be expedited, you know, made, done more quickly. But even then, <clears throat> the decision on approving antifibrotics for all IPF patients would not be made until early next year, 2023. You know, frankly, this is really disappointing. I know some of you would use a stronger word than disappointing. Um, how many people's lives have been shorter than they could have been because NICE has been so slow? Um, how, it's just, it's just mind boggling. I mean, there are hundreds, thousands of patients who had NICE changed the rules earlier, would have been able to go on to Nintendo and Pofenidone, and as a result, would have lived better lives and longer lives. I mean, I just, the, anyway. It's beyond um, thinking about. Um, it would be difficult anyway. So it would be difficult anyway, in conclusion, for NICE to justify keeping the 8050 rule for IPF when it's just approved non-IPF PF without an 8050 rule. So to us, it just seems like this is 
a bureaucratic process that has to be gone through. And at the moment, sadly, you know, I think patients are being left behind and not considered in scheduling this activity. So anyway, sorry if that sounded a bit um, a bit down downbeat, but I think we will get there on this. It will happen, but I think now I was hoping it would be in 2022. I reckon it's now going to be in 2023. So anyway, over to you. I hope you have a great meeting today and look forward to being there for the next one. Cheers. Bye.